one of the quickest, easiest, certainly the cheapest way of um, starting off making the uh, round lead balls that you need for your uh, ball mill is to go to the local tire store and uh, when you go over there ask if they've got any of these um, old uh, tire weights. Um, these are getting kind of outdated now because of all the new uh, pollution laws and things. Um, so, uh, but they still have them when they change the tires. Uh, they throw away these into a nice big pile. A lot of times um, the garages will give you these kind of ribbon weights, um, lead weights and things um, that they don't need anymore. And so you take these things and uh, the next step is to put them in your pot. Okay, once it's into the pot, the next step is, of course, to uh, melt it. Once your lead is melted, just uh, skim off the top junk. This is all the junk you wind up with, all the dross and the metal clips and things like that from the, um, from the uh, tire weights. And all this stuff I'll put in a jar and then um, when I fill up the jar I'll bring it to the toxic waste facility here in the city. Over here, the next step is to pour it. I put it into little muffin uh, Mold. There you have it. Okay, so what you've got now is your mother load. With this, each ingot here is about 280 grams. It varies a little bit. And each of the, uh, I guess it's 53 caliber um, lead balls, approximately a half inch in diameter. Those are about 14.2 grams. So uh, each one of these ingots um, produces about 19 of the lead balls. So we have approximately um, 200 lead balls right here for just our uh, one morning treasure. Thank you.